one on one session is starting from April 1st. So if you want to join, please check on the description list below. And today we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. So if you guys love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe and there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and very first thing, let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl N N and as usual, I'm going for 4x5 and let's keep the resolution as 300, color mode to RGB and let's keep the bitrate at 8 and let's keep everything as default and let's click on create. And let's go over here, let's add a solid and let's give it a kind of darker color, yep, something like that and let's click on OK. And very first thing, let's create some rectangles. So I'll just create one rectangle right over here. And let's give it a kind of white color. And here we go. Let's make a copy, Control J, Control T. Let's make it a little smaller, maybe squeeze in one side. And let's keep it right over here. And let's make a copy, Alt and drag, Control T. Uh, yep, let's make it something like that. Maybe let's make it a little smaller on this side too. Here we go. Control T, let's uh, make it something like that. Let's see. Here we go. Let's select both of them. Let's move it a little up. Yep. Let's keep it. Let's keep it like that and again let's make a one more copy. Alt and drag. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Here we go. And let's alt and drag. Let's make a copy. And again alt and drag. Let's make a copy. Control T. Let's make it a little smaller. Or yep, let's Keep it like, maybe let's make this one a little smaller. Here we go. Yep. Let's uh, let's keep let's keep something like that, and let's keep everything inside a group. Control G. Let's rename it as a image holder, and let's select this layer and let's drag our very first image. So let's see. Uh, let's drag and drop this image right over here. Let's right click, create clipping max. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. Here we go. And let's drag another image. So let's drag and drop this image right over here. Press Control T, let's make it a little smaller. And I'll say uh, let's keep it right around here. Right click, create clipping max. And now let's make a copy of this image holder. So let's make a copy, Control J. And the bottom one is just for the backup. So let's hide this uh, group for now. And right click, let's merge this group. So it's gonna be a single image. So this is what we got. And let's go to filter and let's apply a camera raw filter. And let's see, let's drop down the highlights uh, somewhere around here. Let's increase the shadows. And let's drop down the whites too. And let's go on color and let's go for kind of blue tint. Yep, something like that. And maybe let's drop down the saturation, maybe somewhere around here. 
or and then let's go on FX let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture yep somewhere around here let's add a little bit of green and let's click on OK and let's go for filter and let's go for filter gallery and let's add a diffuse glow so let's click on that diffuse glow let's drop down the grain a little bit maybe somewhere around here let's increase let's drop down the glow amount maybe somewhere around here i think this looks good to me and let's click on ok so this is what we got and then let's drag and drop our another image so let's drag and drop this image right over here now let's select the layer go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's see let's apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks uh, i think uh, this looks pretty good but let's add some color a little bit yep maybe a little bit of saturation maybe something like that and let's increase the texture a little more here we go and let's add a dehaze too yep Yep, let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. And now let's create a one more layer. Right click, create clipping max. Let's go back to brush. And let's go for a general soft brush. And let's change the blending mode to soft light. And let's draw some shadows. So here we go. Alright, now let's select the layer, go to filter and let's go to liquify and let's click on uh, this icon and let's make the brush size a little bigger and let's add some distortion just just like so and let's click on OK so this is what we got Uh, let's drag and drop this overlay right over here and let's create a clipping max uh, let's change the blending mode to soft light press ctrl T let's make it a little bigger so that it covers the whole space just like so and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go And let's drag and drop this overlay on very top. Let's go to all the way to the top. Let's change the blending mode to screen. And press Ctrl and T. Let's add a rotation. Let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. Maybe let's make it a little smaller just like so. And let's keep it right around here. All right, and now let's add some shadows on bottom. So let's create a new layer. Go to brush. And let's go for general soft brush and let's go for a black color. And let's add a brush stroke right over here. Press Ctrl and T. Let's squeeze a little bit. And let's add a contact shadows right over here. And let's make a one more layer. Control T, let's squeeze it. And maybe let's add one right over here. And let's create a one more layer on very top. Go to brush. And let's add kind of shadows right around here. And maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Just like so. 
all right now let's go over here and let's go on very top let's create a new layer go to brush and with the white color let's add some glow right over here so just like so let's change the blending mode to soft light let's drop down the opacity maybe some right over here and let's go for a cloud brush so let's see let's go for this brush and let's go on very bottom let's create a new layer let's add some clouds right over here maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit and let's go on very top again and let's add some strokes right over here and let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's see let's go for another brush so i'll just go for this one here we go and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and let's add a one more overlay on very top so let's go over here drag and drop this on very top let's change the blending mode to screen or let's change it to soft light Control T let's make it a little bigger just like so Maybe let's keep it on very top and let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go and let's add a color lot on very top so let's go over here let's add a lookup and from here click on load and let's go for windy cine c light so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you on next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye